how was sine, cosine, tangent, sec, cot, and cosec invented into mathematics? How was it derived? Let's consider a unit circle. What is a unit circle? A unit circle is a circle whose radius is length 1. Considering the center of a unit circle, any part of this circle that you draw a line from the center to touch the outer edge of the circle must be 1. Each of these touching the arc is length 1. It doesn't matter where you draw it from. In analyzing a unit circle, you consider two types of measurements. You are either considering the length of this circle or you are considering the radian measurement. Consider a unit circle of length 1. Here is length 1, here is length 1, here is length 1, and here is length 1. That means here is 1, here is 1, here is 1, here is 1. So this is plus x axis. This is plus y axis. Here is minus x axis. Here is minus y axis. This point is x, y. Here you also have x, y. At this edge, you also have x, y. And at this edge, you also have x, y. H in coordinates. Considering this point, the x coordinate does not exist because this arrow is pointing just to y. And the, the length of this y is 1. Subsequently, considering this length, the x axis exists and the length is 1. The y axis here does not exist. Considering this point, the x axis does not exist. And the length of the y axis is minus 1 because it's pointing towards the negative. Considering this point, the x axis exists and the length is minus 1. And the y axis does not exist here because it's pointing only towards the x axis. That is how each of this was derived. And the center is 0, 0. If I draw a line to touch the edge of this circle and it forms an angle, this angle, theta, is the angle between the x and the y axis. This point at the edge will have a coordinate of x, y at this point that means every point on this arc has a coordinate of x comma y your sine graph and your cosine graph which we are going to see in another video is simply a function and derivation of a unit circle whose maximum is one if i draw a line from the center to the edge and I take a straight line down to touch this line. This line here is called Y and we call here X. This length Y is called sine. This side of X is called cosine. If I consider this theta here, I'm going to call this sine theta. And if I consider this theta, I will call this cos theta. The CO, co, in the front of cosine simply means the complement of sine. A complement is defined as two angles whose sum is 90 degrees. In Latin, sine is simply called sinus. And cosine is called sinus complementing. At this point, we have 
your x comma y which is simply your cosine comma your sine in coordinates next i'm going to draw a straight line from this point out of the circle this line is called tangent tangent is a latin word tangentem meaning touching if i draw a line from this point to go and touch the tangent line here this line which is the new line i have drawn is what is called second line before the second line we have already established a relationship i want to consider here if we consider this angle theta this relationship is that sine theta over cos theta is equal to tan theta which is y over x is equal to the word the slope furthermore if i extend this line to go higher and i also extend this line to also increase this now this line and this line have met here this line here is what is called co second why this additional line is what is called co tangent looking at this only sine and cosine are inside the unit circle the tangent second cosecant and cotangent are all outside the unit circle hence they are functions of either sine or cosine in their formulas this cot is simply a complement of tangent cosecant is simply a complement of secant and cosine is simply a complement of sine this is the line of cosine and this line extends the line of second hence sec theta is 1 over cos theta also this is the line of cosecant which is parallel to the line of sine hence cosec theta is equal to 1 over sine theta also the line of tangent was complemented by cotangent hence cotangent theta is 1 over tan theta and we had earlier mentioned that tan theta is sine theta over cos theta this and more will be very helpful when we start solving trigonometric identities in the co-function identity if i consider this right angle triangle i'll be looking and considering this and if i consider this triangle i'll be considering this if i consider this triangle hence i'll be considering this playing around this we can derive any of these co-function identities i will see you in the next video